What's up, Pickle Papes? All right, today it is time for another QR code adventure, and this time we're doing it through Bitly. Now, we've done QR codes through Google Chrome recently. We've done them through um, specific websites. This time we are going in on Bitly for creating our QR codes. And the beautiful thing about doing it with Bitly is they have tracking. I'll show you what I mean once we're on the inside. First, my name is Wolf's Pickle. Welcome to the channel, The Handmade How. Here we break down the how and the tech of handmade marketing tips so that you guys can focus on the profits and creating your epic business. All right, now to the computer. Okay, Pickle Peep, let's get started. Now, First off, why do you want a QR code? Because it's a visual link. So instead of someone having to type in the link and potential errors and just distraction, you know what? It's just work. We're lazy now, right? Instead, with a QR code, it's a scannable image. You just hold your phone up, you capture the image, and um, you don't have to take a picture of it. You hold your phone up and the phone will ask, do you want to go to this website? So boom, you have a QR code. You have an instant link there that no one had to type anything. So good things. Now, today we're going in on how to do it with Bitly. So uh, Bitly is a link shortener. You may have used it before. I know I've used it a gazillion times. I used to do it with my giveaways all the time. Um, instead of having like a super long URL, I could make a custom little one. So this is bitly.com and... What you want to do is sign up for free. Create an account and you get so many benefits. So let's take a look here super quick at the benefits you get um, when you create an account. And first off, we want the free version, okay? I highly, highly doubt that you need the $29 a month basic version. Go with stick with free. It's going to give you enough usability right here. Okay, it gets you a custom back half right here, which means you'll have bit.ly slash you can control what's on the back end. Now, sometimes you have to get a little creative because if that code already exists for someone else, then you're screwed, um, but it still works. So you get the custom back half and you get 50 of these a month. Okay, that's almost two, Q that's almost two links a day. I don't think you're going to be using that many. And honest to God, you shouldn't because you should be driving traffic to one thing at a time. Okay, not two things a day, <laughs> one thing at a time, um, feature that you're driving traffic to. So you get 50 links a month, done deal. We don't get any custom domains, so, but don't worry about it, it's bit.ly slash and then you do something branded on the back end. For link management, like we said, you get 50 a month you can create. It's unlimited on link, link clicks, so they're not going to tap you out, cap you out, 500,000, 10,000, that's unlimited. Um, you get link tags, bulk link tagging, link filtering. I'll admit I haven't played with any of these guys. I haven't been in here in a while. Um, your QR codes are Bitly branded. Who cares? And they save as a PNG. Excellent. All right. Um, they have UTM build in builders in here. That's just more sophisticated tracking on um, where the link, the link clicks are coming from social posting. And here's an important one on here um, that is a bit newer, I guess. Like I said, I haven't been in Bitly in a while. But that is that your link history and your reports on your links, you only track, it only tracks 30 days at a time. So if you have a link that's been going for a year and you want to see how it was doing in the past versus now, you would need, God, whatever that plan is that I'm sure is ridiculously expensive. Um, so you do lose that after a while. But this is just one of those 30 days is enough time for you to see how it's doing for you to track it. And you can always go in and take screenshots of your links if you're like super in on the analytics side. And that's the big ones in here that really matter. Okay, there's a mobile app. I haven't played with that yet. Yeah, well, maybe we'll do a video about that when I learn the mobile app. <laughs> and yes all right so you'd want to click get started on free um sign up for free whichever one you want to use and when you do that you're going to get to a page that looks like this except it won't have any links on it mine has like a gazillion links and most of them don't have any data on them because they're old from when I was doing giveaways. I have a video um, about that. I can uh show you guys if you want to see our giveaways dead but really hang out here okay and this is what I mean on here about a custom backend. Okay, I can't highlight it. But we have bit.ly slash. So any ones on the free part are going to be bit.ly slash. And then I have this one is for my email sign up. It's VIP Warrior. And that's for my jewelry brand. And this one right here. 
boom, done. It would have said, if I didn't do that part, it would have had, like, E69104 3Q. R, I don't know, or QT, <laughs> whatever their, like, code on the back end was that no one is ever going to type or click or whatnot because it just looks sketchy as shit. Instead, doing it this way, you might have to be a little creative, like I said before, but you're able to do that. So we're actually going to create a bit.ly today, just so you guys can see that process. Um, oh, and I wanted to show you guys. So this one, I haven't pushed it that much. I haven't done that much with it. But it's gotten 11 clicks since the 24th. So that's what, two and a half weeks or whatnot. Like I said, I don't push it that much anymore. I'm not driving a lot of traffic on that side. Um, but it'll tell you how many clicks you have. You can add tags to your ones if you want to get really anal on your tracking and stuff. And then at the bottom, it'll tell you both who referred it, so where the click came from. In this case, Facebook and Direct. I'm not 100% sure what Direct means in this way, but Facebook, yeah, I tell you on Facebook, log in, or um, click my link. Might be my Instagram link in bio, I don't know. And then as far as location, so where are the people who are clicking on my link? Most of them in the U.S., a couple in Ireland. Cool. All right. So let's make a link. We're going to come up here to the create section and then you're going to enter your long URL, which usually I copy and paste this in here. I'm pretty sure that's the link. Uh -oh. All right. Um, so I type that in there. Top part is bit.ly. That's the only option we have because we're not paid. So UTM parameters, source, medium, campaign already. Boom. I'm going to create. And you can see this is what I meant by like that crazy link, that 3XTMREP. Yeah, no one's going to do that. Um, but what we want to do is put in a title and we're going to customize this back half. So title just says sales page. Yes, I didn't SEO friendly that part. Um, but we're going to have BizFit Bootcamp or Q3 Bootcamp is what it is. I can't believe we're coming into Q3, like right around the corner. Say, what? How has this happened already? Okay, boom. And then I might make our bit.ly Q3 bootcamp and see if that works. That might already be taken here, but we'll see. Click out, click save. And oh, wow. I didn't think that would be a valid. I was sure Q3 bootcamp would already be taken um, on there. Whoa. Okay, um, great. So that was easy. <laughs> so we now have, if I wanted to type it, if I'm sharing this on anywhere, in email, on social, all that stuff, really in emails, like you have the link, but if you want to give someone a visual one to look at, um, it would be the bit.ly slash Q3 bootcamp that I would type out. If I'm putting it as like an access link on, um, say like the Facebook visit page, like the button on there, any of those, my buttons, I could put this in here and then it's going to tell me, it's going to track. Like the reason you would want to use this kind of over your regular branded links, especially, uh, depending on what kind of analytics you have on your site or you're hooked into, especially with the Google whole new Google analytics thing going on. Um, if you don't have any of that stuff set up, Bitly is a really simple way to at least get recent data on how many clicks you're getting. So if you know how many times your link is being clicked, uh, whether it's to an email sign up, to a product page, to your website, to um, a sales an event like our Q3 bootcamp is a big event. It's an implementation event and we're focusing on lead gen so you can get all the leads you want by Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I put a plug for that. But whatever you're pushing, if you want to know if people are going to that page, if that link is actually driving traffic, then this will tell you that. And then you can look at how much traffic or how many people have clicked on the link to how many people signed up for your email list, how many people bought your product, what's your conversion rates on here. You can do that because you actually have data. All right, <laughs> ran over. So now for the real part that you came for, you guys can guess it. We're just going to click on QR code. Boom! How's this? Okay, so when they said that they're branded with Bitly, that's this section right here in the center. Whatever. We can go ahead. Now, you are just stuck with plain black and white as a freebie. It still doesn't matter. It's fine. 
Um, I'm sure you could probably take it into Canva and color code it if you really, really desperately wanted it to, but it is not necessary, okay? Keep it in the high contrast black and white. And then you're just going to go ahead and download and save. Boom. All right, there we go. And we're done. <laughs> so how freaking simple was that? I know last time we came in and talked about QR codes, we talked about doing them in Google Chrome, uh, which was super awesome and super duper easy. However, Google Chrome does not give you the tracking parameters that Bitly does. And even though Bitly is only giving you 30 days of tracking, um, it's still something. It's still a baseline, a start for you to tell if your traffic strategies are working or not. Are people clicking? If they're not clicking on the links, then you know you have a problem on the post or ad level. And then if they are clicking on the link, but they're not taking the action on the page that you want, then you know you have a problem on that page. And it's just like following the breadcrumbs to un until you make millions. That's what that's all about. Follow the breadcrumbs to the million dollar jackpot. And just keep fixing the tweak and um, tweaking the little things along the way. So there we go. Excellent. I hope you enjoyed this pickle peep. I hope this helped you. Let me know in the comments below if you use QR codes, if you're going to start using Bitly for your QR codes. And yeah, that's about it. We have a lot more QR code stuff on the way. I'm so excited for it. And yeah. All right, Pickle Peep, for that, I'm Melissa Pickle. You guys have an awesome day while you're building an awesome business. Bye!